Welcome to this chair yoga class. Let's get started. Find a comfortable chair. So sitting in seated mountain pose, knees and feet aligned, shoulders over hips. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Turn the palms up if you like to broaden the chest and deepen the breath. Close your eyes or look down cast. Become aware of your surroundings. Notice the sounds as far away as you can hear them. Bring your awareness into your room, hearing the sounds right around you. And coming closer, becoming aware of your body, sitting on the chair. Feeling air against your skin, your clothing against your body. Notice your breath. Feel the movement of your breath in your body. Bring your hands to your belly, below your navel. Drop your awareness into your navel, into your lower belly to breathe in. Exhale, squeeze the air out. So we're coming into yogic belly breathing. This belly breathing is calming and relaxing. And we're doing this today because a line from the yogic literature has been playing in my head quite a bit recently. And that line is, a little of this yoga delivers from great fear. Now we could talk for hours about what that means, but we won't. However, what we will do is experience how in our asana practice, we can use grounding and centering to help us be more fearless in our poses. And then we can end by exploring how we can take that out into the world. So deep, slow belly breathing. turns on our vagus nerve, our relaxation response. And let's continue with that, but let's add some Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breath. So we'll pick up the right hand. This is the one time you will not marry me. You're gonna bring your hand to face you and close off the nearest nostril with your thumb, inhale, Close off both nostrils, release the thumb, exhale. Inhale, close, exhale. Inhale, fingers to nostrils, release thumb, exhale. Inhale, same side, close, exhale, release the fingers. Inhale, same side. Continue at your own pace. Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So this breathing balances the right and left hemisphere of your brain and calms and centers your nervous system. We learned last week that we have 72,000 nadis or energy lines in the body. So this is a breathing practice to calm and open those nadis, the flow of energy.
And on an exhalation, hands to your belly. Breathing slowly and deeply in and out of your belly. Let your breath find its own rhythm and own pace. And notice how you feel now. And let's warm up our joints. Let's start with a infinity. I love this because again, it's reminding us it integrates the right and left sides of our brain and moves through that center point of stillness. Let's go the other way. And back to center. Inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Tilt the head back, open and close the jaw. And move your jaw from side to side. And come back up, relax the shoulders down. Take a breath, stretch up tall, look over your shoulder. And look over the other way. Back to center, near the shoulder. Roll forward, near the other way. And back to center. I'd like to scoot forward on my chair so I have a little more room. Do some shoulder rolls. And shoulder roll the other way. And relax. 
Bring the elbows together. Let's open and close, broadening the chest and broadening the back. And we'll open and close this way with the hands, open and close, the wrists moving, elbows moving, shoulders moving. And we're going to touch the thumb, to each finger in turn. This is good for arthritis. It also, each finger is associated with a different part of the brain. So we're opening up our brains, as well as working our fingers. And let's circle the wrists. Circle back the other way. And reach and grab and flick, grab and flick, grab and flick. So we're moving our whole arms, and just our fingers. And come to stillness, feel the energy and tingling from your head to your fingers. All right, let's bring our hands underneath one knee. If we can, you can either circle the foot on the floor or bring it up in the air, circling the ankle. And circle back the other way. Point and flex. And let's open and close the knee. And circle the ankle. And circle the knee, I'm sorry. <laughs> and circle around the knee the other way. And then you have three options here. You can slide your foot in and out on the floor, opening up the hip joint. You can hold the back of your leg and open the hip joint that way. You can straighten your leg holding your foot and open your hip joint that way. And we'll bring that leg in. Take a moment to compare the two legs. And pick up the other foot again. You could circle your ankle on the floor or pick up the leg. 
gives you a little abdominal work. Circle your ankle here. And circle back the other way. Points and flex. And we'll open and close the leg. And we'll draw circles. And draw circles the other way. And then your choices again are sliding the leg in and out, holding the back of the thigh, moving the leg in and out, or straightening the leg and holding it with your, holding the foot with your hand. Or if you have a strap, you can actually put the strap around the ball of your foot and do that as well. And bring that one down and take a moment to notice the after effect. So even a little of this yoga delivers from great fear. So we're going to do the warrior poses today. And the yogic understanding of a warrior is someone who is so centered in themselves that nobody wants to bother them. So preventing more rather than promoting it. So let's start coming to the corner of our chair, sitting up nice and tall, and turning towards the front knee. Bring the hands out in goddess position, thumb and forefinger touching, three fingers up. So this is our warrior one pose. Bring your hands back down. You can do a second set of that or point your knee down. You can shift your hips a little better that way. Inhale into warrior one here. Stay there or stretch your leg out behind you. Third set. Bring that way back in and back to your home base pose. Warrior two, we're gonna roll the shoulders down and back, reach the arms out. So we're parallel to our torso, shoulders, arms, and turn them look over your middle finger.
extend back in. And goddess warrior, bringing the elbows at a right angle, fingertips touching. Take a nice deep breath, open your eyes wide, stick out your tongue. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, roar. <sighs> now, if you're all alone, you can make more noise than that. I just don't want people running in to find out who's being killed. <sighs> but we're just roaring out all of our fear, our anger, our anxiety. Taking courage, confidence, power. Here we go, one more breath. And relax. There's one more warrior pose we're going to do. Coming back into our warrior one position. Bring your hands behind you in yoga mudra. Inhale the shoulders down and back, lift the chest and come forward over the leg. Bring your arms up as far as you can, and maybe you can even get your shoulder inside your knee, come all the way down. It's called Humble Warrior. Inhale yourself back up. Release your hands, tilt yourself back to center, bring your hands to your lower belly. Yogic belly breathing, grounding and centering. And we'll do the other side, come into the corner of our chair. Start with warrior one. Let's turn towards that front knee. Bring your hands up in goddess warrior pose. And back down. Do a second set of that or knee down. Turn your hips a little more towards the front knee. Shoulders down and back, inhale. And back down. Stay with that, or third level, stretching out your leg behind you. Inhale, warrior one with goddess arms. And back down, bring your leg back in, coming into your nice wide-legged pose here for warrior two. So we're sitting evenly between our legs, we're reaching our arms out and turning to look over a middle finger. So the front arm is over that front leg. And come on back down. Coming into yoga mudra, turning back towards the front leg. Swing your arms around behind you. Interlace your hands so the other thumb is in front. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Stretch up tall and then come forward. And this might be your pose and that's perfectly okay. Or coming all the way over the leg or even shoulder inside the knee letting your head drop. Humble warrior. Inhale back up, release your arms, come back to center, goddess warrior, deep breath in, 
Open eyes, wide mouth, roar. Heel back to center, Some hands on your stomach, breathing deeply into your belly, calming yourself. So your warrior poses develop strength, confidence, and courage. And then we come back to stillness, calming ourselves through our yogic belly breath. And then apropos of nothing, we'll do some sit to stands just because we should and could. Okay, so reach your arms out in front of you or across. Inhale up. So we're hooking our thumbs if you're not either here or hooking your thumbs. Inhaling up. That's two, let's go for seven. Last one, and we're up, good job. Come behind your chair, holding on. If you need to, I'll be next to the chair so you can see what I'm doing. So if you don't need to hold on to your chair, hands to your belly, yogic belly breath. Feel your connection to your earth, to the earth. Feel your connection to your center. Feel how that opens you up. So we're gonna do a standing warrior one. So facing the back of your chair and holding on with two hands if you need to. Take the right leg back. Coming into a warrior one here. If you can, the elbows are in, the heart is lifted opening to the sky, feeling this connection to the earth, helping you open your heart. And inhale back up. I'm going to turn that into a warrior two. So you are facing the back of your chair, holding on. So if you can, release with one hand and open out and reach out. If you can, reach out with the other hand and look over your shoulder. Warrior two. Bring your hand back to the chair, back to your warrior one. And if you can, holding onto the chair with one hand, coming into a warrior twist, bring your hand into goddess pose. Looking back over your hand. And come back to your chair and step forward. Come back to Tadasana with your hands on the chair or your belly, yogic belly breath. Eyes open or closed, whatever feels safest to you. Okay, I'm gonna go around to the other side. You're still behind your chair, holding on. Okay, so the opposite leg. Steps back, warrior one. 
Shoulders down, heart lifted. If it's safe, bring one arm up in goddess position or both arms up. I think we stay with one, right? Lifting your chest and arcing back if you can. You can hold on to the chair and do it as well. Coming back up, holding on to the chair with one hand, we're going to open the other arm out, coming into a warrior two, reaching that arm out behind you, and if it's safe, reaching the other arm out in front of you, open your chair. Right now. Bring the hand back to the chair, bring the other hand around, Come back into warrior one, holding on with the, with the knee that's in front of the opposite arm, so the other arm is going to come up and down this warrior, and turn our body, coming into a warrior twist, looking over your arm. Inhale back to center, step forward, either holding onto your chair or hands on your lower belly, eyes open or closed, yogic belly breath. I'm going to come in front of my chair, you can stay behind it, the goddess warrior, so we're going to step out to the second position ballet. And you're either holding onto your chair or one or two arms and goddess arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Last one. You can relax your face, but we'll hold the pose. You can stay here or come up onto your toes, turning it into a balancing pose. And again, maybe you're holding on with one or both hands. That's okay. And release and toe heel, toe heel back to Tadasana. Either hands on your belly or holding onto the chair. Yogic belly breath. Maybe you're feeling a little anxious from all the challenging work that we're doing. So dropping the awareness back into the belly. We're going to go for a warrior three. Now, if you can use the seat of your chair, warrior three will look like this. With one hand or both hands. But if you can't use the seat of your chair, you can start at the back and just send one leg out behind you with the toes on the floor. We'll maybe come down a little bit more, pick your toes up, or get more. Come over, hands on the chair. Actually, let's keep the hands on the chair because it starts to look like sunbird if we pick one arm up. So have both hands on the chair, draw the shoulders back, reach out through the heel, or you're standing up with just your toe on the floor or just for a second picking that toe up. Whatever variation of warrior three works for you.
and we'll bring that leg down, give ourselves a little shimmy. I'm gonna walk around to the other side. So again, you can start standing up. And send your leg back behind you and just have the toes on the floor. You can begin to tip forward here using the high end of your chair. Or if you have more flexibility, you can come down onto the seat of your chair, sending your leg out. And balancing here. Good job. Let's bring that one down. Slowly come up. Come back to belly breathing. And come sit down on your chair. Hands. Sit down. We're going to try a pose called Dying Warrior. I know it's kind of a, I think warrior and warrior, interesting how close they are. So when I think of dying warrior, what I think of is um, letting go of being warlike. So it's usually done on the floor. So it's going to be interesting to try doing this in a chair, but we're going to sit out with our legs nice and wide. We're going to do a spinal twist. Then we're going to slide down the leg. Slowly roll back up. Inhale to center. Come to the other side. Bring your hands to the outside of the leg. And again, you might not go down as far as I do. That's fine. Maybe this is your dying warrior. Just letting your head go, letting your shoulders slump. Sliding down as far as works for you. Inhale yourself back up. And perhaps you experienced after the energizing and possibly even anxiety causing challenges of the warrior poses, how that pose brought you a sense of peace and calm. So we'll end by scooting back on our chair, but not all the way, bring your arms behind you, cross your elbows, we're gonna do a heart opener. So using our arms as a bolster, and we'll lift the chest, Arch back. So we've created a sense of grounding, connection to our center, and that now allows us to lift our heart, open our mind, to move with a sense of confidence and peace. A little of this yoga delivers from great fear.
if you'd like, come back up, cross the uh, arm so the opposite arm is on top, and then go back into your supported back bend. And you can stay here as long as you like, but when you're ready, wiggle your arms out, bring your hands to your lower belly, and come into Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers and toes. Link your eyes to come back into the room. Move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. <laughs> <laughs> 